It all started on March 3rd of 1991 with Rodney King, who was brutally beaten by white LAPD officers after initially evading arrest for pursuit for driving while he was drunk. This incident became public when George Holiday filmed it from his balcony and sent the video footage to KTLA. April 29, 1992 The outraged public led to the indictment of the four white officers who led the assault. But with a predominantly white jury, none of the officers were found guilty. We the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant Lawrence M. Powell not guilty of the crime of assault by force likely to produce great bodily injury and with a deadly weapon. The black community took their anger to the streets. They first headed to the white neighborhoods, but with armed police heavily guarding those neighborhoods, they turned to Korean American neighborhoods instead. With their anger towards white people, they took it out on powerless Koreans for no reason. They burned down the city, looted Korean-owned stores, and threw patrol bombs on their neighborhoods. And the police just watched. The Koreans had to protect themselves. They guarded their houses and businesses with guns on rooftops, fighting for their lives. And 31 years later, we built our community from ground up all over again, and we're still standing. The 1992 LA riot taught us to be strong to be resilient, and to persevere.